show you uh, something probably almost none of you have ever seen but all of you live with. I'm going to show you light moving. Not turning on a flashlight but watching the pulse from the flashlight move. It happens to be a laser, it's a five foot long a pulse, five foot long pulse. This camera right here does it. We're a little company in Santa Barbara thanks to Tony's group. They funded the initial development of this and we've continued it on and now we actually make these units. If you look over here, this is a five foot long pulse of laser light. It comes from the camera, it's traveling along, it hits this Venetian blind, it penetrates the blind, it lights up the person behind it, it keeps going and then it lights up the back wall. That is light moving. You can do things with that. You can watch laser pulses, you can freeze turbine blade blades. You can do um, anything you can think of and that's a challenge to you and I'll show you some applications. Video rates, come out of this thing. This is an area ray. Um, you've seen this image. How does it work? We take a camera, we light something up, we see the backscatter. We're firing a photon torpedo, it bounces off the car, I capture on an area ray, each pixel triggers, and I store that, and can you click here please? This is a 64 by, uh, sorry, 128 by 128 array. Um, it is the fastest camera in the world. You're watching one nanosecond time frames. Um, so what can you do with it? That area ray, we can paint a scene, and here we are from one position, I'm flying over and I'm actually looking at a courthouse in Santa Barbara. The camera didn't move, it's in one position and I painted the world with it. Wow. Um, I'm gonna go fast, you can see these on our website. This was a kilometer away, that first view is the camera position and then actually you can rotate it and you can see there's actually a courtyard you'd have to get across. Um, on the bottom here, it looks like the other movie is not going to show up, but we did it from the mission in Santa Barbara. You can do this from a kilometer away, you can do it from right here, and I can scan you. Uh, this is another scene, we're actually trying to track a football, um, but instead we captured a flock of birds. This is a video rate nanosecond camera. Right? So I'm actually tracking these birds and I can look at it from any perspective. And in the bottom is a number of perspectives, and you'll see in a moment, you can even look down on the top of the birds, even though I was underneath them looking up. So I like to let this sink in, and it's fun talking to a crowd like this because they get it. Now, how do we get there? We have to build everything. We build our own readouts, which are the integrated circuits. We build lasers because nobody builds the right kind of laser. We build the lenses. We do the software. Uh, it's fun. These are all gadgets. You put them together and you make an amazing gadget. Um, we're doing some stuff for NASA. NASA trained me. Now I'm doing this. Uh, you can do a lot of things with it if you can click on those two. Um, this was one position of the camera. This was Santa Barbara City College. Everything's in Santa Barbara. Um, we were able to do this. Again, one camera position. Uh, this is where we're at now. We took this kilometer range system and we're doing it now at short range. And you can see we can do facial kinds of resolutions. That's down in the millimeters. Um, with this thing, that's me. Um, clearly it needs some work, but you can do lip reading, facial recognition, other things. So that's us, a little company in Santa Barbara. We make these things, they're real, they're this big. You can carry them around. They're lighter than the broadcast camera that you see walking around here. So thank you very much.